in the fountainhead, Ayn Rand uh, seemed to pick, depict Howard Rourke as being happy on the inside but not happy on the outside. Uh, couldn't he just have sold maybe one building that he didn't like in order to make some money? Wouldn't he be happier? No. The whole point of her novel and, and of her philosophy in this regard is that virtues must be an absolute. One violation of a virtue is tantamount to abandoning the whole principle and thereby putting yourself on the opposite premise. It would be just exactly like if you were a judge and you had to weigh as one man innocent or guilty. And, and you know, you went according to the evidence most of the time, but once in a while, the boss has offered you uh, a big sum of money if you would free a guilty man or execute an innocent man. And you say, well, I don't want to be an extremist. Every once in a while, you took the payoff. You had a bigger home and a boat and so on. You didn't do it all the time or even dominantly. You are a thoroughly corrupt, rotten judge and person. But inherent in that, and you will end up in the pocket of those people. Your, your life is just living there, waiting. And every other attribute, if you traced, if your character will suffer, your opinion of yourself, your ability to think independently, because you're f dominated by fear now, etc. The same is true if someone from organized crime says to you, look, I know you respect life. But every once in a while, I'd like you to go out and make a hit. You pay you a lot of money. After all, there are no absolutes. You say, well, look, I, you want me to become a killer. This is not all the time, just now and then. <laughs> now, that's exactly the same thing as compromising your, uh, in, in the case of Rourke. Uh, so uh, we do not believe in compromise, unless it's within a moral principle. For instance, let's say we, I agree I'm going to talk for 45 minutes. And uh, he wanted me to talk for an hour, and I wanted 30 minutes. So we compromised at 45. We both agree on the principle. We're just adjusting the detail. But if he said, I want you to talk on Buddhism, defend it. And I said, no, objectivism. And the compromise was, I'll come out half for Buddhism and half for objectivism. Or even three quarters for objectivism, with just an occasional reference to the Atman in the middle. <laughs> it would be the whole thing. Is that, the way Ayn Rand put it in Adler Shrugged is that any compromise between food and poison, only poison wins. With that, I thank you.